Most commuters will have to fork out an extra dollar or less per trip from next month, after bus operators were given the green light for a fare hike. Authorities said they did their best to balance the public's affordability while keeping the bus franchises afloat. Another year, another fare hike for public transport. And this time, it's the turn of the buses. Three bus companies operating six franchises sought a fare increase, arguing that patronage was hit hard during COVID. Bravo Transport, which runs City Bus and New World First Bus, was steep in the red. Its urban routes lost a combined $161 million, while its airport and boundary services made a deficit of $105 million. The only bright spot was KMB, which turned in a $106 million profit. Four franchises applied for a fare increase of up to 23%, while Bravo demanded a flat $2 hike for each urban trip. The chief executive in council approved their applications today, but watered down the increments to 4.5% to 7%. The increases are then further offset by the Franchise Bus Toll Exemption Fund, which was set up in 2019 to collect toll and road fees waived by the government. After netting out such savings, passengers are looking at increases of 3.9% to 7%. Transport Chief Lam Sai Hong said when the new fares kick in on June 18th or Father's Day, 87% of commuters will pay an extra 50 cents or less, and no more than one dollar for almost everyone. When we talk about the, 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 uh, the, the fare increase, it's important that uh, uh, it should be affordable at the, uh, to passengers at one hand. On the other hand, we have to maintain the financial sustainability of the bus company. Lam suggested the bus firms look for new revenue streams, including installing parcel collection lockers at bus stops. <laughs>